expectation setting. Okay, thank you, host. Yeah, uh, quick expectation settings on my end. Feel free to, you know, please manage your own energy since like we are all online. I'm unable to see you guys physically. Actually, uh, to be frank, the reason why I signed up for this to be fussy is because I thought it's going to be a physical thing and I can present physically. But then it's virtual. It's okay. Yeah. And then uh, please be more proactive, present, and also be more attentive and also more collaboration. Uh, for your information, I'm a person who asks a lot of questions to my audience. And I would expect responses <laughs> in the chat box. Uh, if you guys don't respond, I will move on. Right? So uh, this, let's, let's not have just Vihang and Devi like, and Sabrina answering. Okay, let's have more people answer in the chat. Because I like people who interact with me. Yeah. To feel like, so that I don't feel alone. Lah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So yeah, start recording. Okay, it's recorded. Okay, so uh let me introduce myself once again. My name is Xiao Tian. <clears throat> I'm the uh, LCP of term 3233 for Isaac and UM. And I think just a brief recap on my past Isaac role. I didn't put here, but uh, I'm the LCVP of IGTA last year. And I think uh, basically today's story is more on related to my experience as a vice president and as an executive board in the year 2021 and not more, not that much about my LCP journey, but rather it's more about my LCVP journey. So I think just a quick ice breaking to let you guys know me better. Right? Anyone want to guess what that's number four? Yeah, 4321 actually stands for something. Lah. Do you guys want to guess what number four stands for? See, I, I start to expect responses already. Yeah, what does number four stands for? Anyone can get like at least one correct, right? Uh, give me your address. Four rows. Oh, double rolling, current row. Oh my god, double rolling, current row, and EV row. <laughs> okay, I was just about to say like, uh, anyone can guess at least one correct. Send me your address, okay? I will give you Boba. Okay, if you're in Malaysia, lah, okay, yeah, four, no, I'm the eldest of four, okay, too bad, you guys are like one facilitator experience, four years, double rolling, no, 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 four row, no, sorry, I, it, four stands for I'm the eldest of four, you can think of more bizarre things, okay, what about number three, three, double board, <laughs> no, 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 not double board, yeah. Okay, so four stands for I'm the eldest of four, or oh, three X's, thanks, Sabrina, <laughs> three pets, hmm, I, I have more than three pets, but anyhow, three years in Isaac, uh, three Isaac is, uh, 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 you guys have kidney to have more creativity, three leadership crushes in Isaac, three BF at now, wow, thank you very much, who wrote that? I think I have 10, like, like, you know, based on the list of artists that I like, <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, I, I, I have three leadership crushes in Isaac. Uh, if you get to go to more of my sessions, probably I'll introduce these leadership crushes to you guys. Okay, and then number two, what about two? <clears throat> so far, nobody got anyone like accurate one. Actually, it's quite easy, uh, but then <laughs> maybe you guys need, need more credit. Oh, two years of EV experience. Two husband. Oh, Bara, thank you very much. <laughs> two years in high tech. <laughs> two boyfriend, two oppa. What is oppa? Oppa is brother, right? Mm. I, also, I have two brothers, but two oppa stands for older brother. No, I don't have two older brother. But EV, it stands for two EV teams I was part of. Not really Isaac. Two years of EV experience. Uh, I think so far, not yet. Lah. Okay, not yet. Two years of EV experience. Yeah, but anyhow, if you were to calculate it technically. Lah, okay, but actually, it's more like I was part of two EV teams. One was uh, the previous EV team. And one is my current nature. How many years are you in Isaac? Uh, almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Kind of correct for two years. Of, mm, but it's okay. Uh, it's not the most accurate one. <laughs> this person, uh, okay. Okay, last one, one. What is one? You can be more creative or... Uh, let me give you a hint before you guys answer. It's more about things that I experienced very recently. Um, it's not really a private thing. It's something in Isaac. But it's something that I experienced just recently. The one LCP. Wow, thank you. <laughs> one certificate home. What is that? Oh, oh my god. Xin'an, yes, correct. It's actually one international conference. Okay, you am from ATP. Yeah, I know you. I will, yeah, later you drop me your uh, address. I will give you a boba. Okay, thank you very much for paying attention to what's happening to me. <laughs> yeah, so hope you guys get to know me a little bit more uh, from this 4321 thing. Yeah, it's just a quick one. Okay, so moving on. Before I go on, right, um, I think you guys have a lot of questions. If Okay, pretend that you have if you don't have also, okay? So that, you know, I don't, I don't step myself for my words. <laughs> yes, in Cambodia, yes, yes. You can talk to me more or maybe if in the future I have, I am honored enough to host further sessions for you guys. Maybe I can share more about that as well. Lah. Yeah, so uh, here's a link to our Q&A for today. Feel free to drop your questions in this title link or just scan this QR code. Okay, so without further ado, we will go into 
today's title. And I will also share with you guys why I actually asked you guys to put like your Isaac code. Because you know, Isaac code is kind of things is kind of, kind of dramatic, you know. So what is more dramatic, right? Like, okay, yeah, because today I'm going to tell you a Korean drama. I'm going to be narrating to you a Korean drama of the year. It won the grand prize. For those of you who uh, follow K-pop, this drama won day sang. Okay, <laughs> I mean like, yeah, so 2021 Korean drama of the year. It's called The Grilled Barbecue Burnt and Brunt. Okay. Uh, just for your information, I have two EB team. I was part of two EB teams. Um, my current EB team is called a Natrum. A Natrum. I, the logo is here. Yeah, so uh, this is a Natrum, which is my current EB team. And the previous EB team is called Barbecue and Company. BBQ, EB BBQ for short. And I was part of that uh, in the year 2021 when I was the LCVP IGTA of Isaac in UM. So today's story mainly revolves around... Uh, my EB barbecue Korean drama story when I was the cast, oh my god, of this Korean drama. So let me introduce to you guys the cast and crew. Uh, no, actually, just the cast, lah, okay? The main characters of our EB barbecue. Actually, it's quite surprising for me that I found this photo and then there's like so numb eight people there. But yeah, these are my uh, fellow EB la, of EB barbecue. Okay, I will next. Like, I think some of you may see familiar faces, some of you may not. Uh, we have, I think, two ESTs over here. Two yes, yes, correct. And then, okay, I, I just want to introduce to you guys a very important person that I'm going to continuously say his name later on. Uh, this person over here, this man in the middle next to, uh, on, on a girl's body. <laughs> his name is Hong Gao. He's wearing specs. Yeah, his name is Hong Gao. Uh, he's my LCP. Okay, uh, by the way, today's recording, just stay here, okay? Hong Gao cannot know that. I keep calling him out <laughs> during our, our session today. So yeah, uh, yeah, let me introduce you guys to Hong Gao. He's my LCP. Uh, of year 2021 when I was part of EB Barbecue and then the, yeah that's me right at the side and then the rest are my fellow EB team okay so what is it about EB Barbecue that I have to tell you guys today right actually the story goes like this so we, all of us when we were elected we all want the best for our department we are all very um, immersed in our EB experience, our VP experience actually, and we work very, very hard for our functions to ensure that we fulfill the job scope that was actually designed for us as vice presidents. So <clears throat> what actually did we do, right? Like we worked so hard and then like we put in a lot of effort in our journey. Okay, so here comes the climbing action, you know, like every Korean drama, that's a plot. So when there's a plot, that's a climbing action. So these are the things that we achieved um, from March 2021 to August 2021. It might not seem much to, I think, at least out of the big LCs here, you might think that uh, it's not much, but actually just, I think, give you guys a background context about Isaac and UM last year. We are in a short-term debt, and we are actually working very hard to get out of that debt um, throughout the entire one year. So when we are working so hard to get out of the debt, these are the things that we achieve alongside trying to free ourselves of our debt. In fact, I think around July 2021, we already clear all the debts that we have already. And um, these are also the things that we simultaneously achieve throughout the entire uh, process as well. <clears throat> so we had our very first uh, You Speak Forum EWA. Uh, it's actually the second one, but it's the first one on a big scale. Then we ha our IGTA had seven opens and one realized. Uh, IGTA stands for Incoming Global Talent. I think some of you may not be very familiar with the department if your LC or SU doesn't have that. And then our OGV has around, uh, this is just the summer one, around 63 uh, approved and realized, I think, and around 100 plus leads. And IGV has around two batches. We did two batches of realization. So that was around 59 realized. And we also got the MyLDS IGTA award and also nominated for EWA award last year in MyLDS. So, um, these were the things that happened when all of us worked very hard for our functions and ensure that we fulfilled the job scope that was actually designed for us as vice presidents of our own department. So what was the outcome? We worked so hard, right? Then, you know, we, we got all of these things, you know, our operations were on track, um, we won awards, we got nominated. So what was the outcome? We were all burnt and brought. Okay, I'll talk a little bit about burnt first. So, when we're burnt out, it actually refers to burnt out. Lah. So I think a lot of you are not unfamiliar. You're, you're quite familiar with the term burnt out already since like um, most of us here are like, uh, I think I would assume at least three months into the role and then you might start to feel the stress uh, or the pressure, you know, being um, an Isaacer and also studying or having other commitments with, uh, 
out of Isaac at the same time. So you might have instances where you feel like I'm very stressed, I'm very tired. So yeah, those it, it's quite similar to all of us because all of us here, um, we were pushing very hard for performance and we died I need to get out of the debt. Yeah, that was what we told each other. We, we died I need to get out of that debt. Frequently burn out. Mm, yeah, we are frequently burned out. Yes, correct. Like all of us here in this EBT, we are frequently burned out. But at the same time, because we want the performance so bad and we want to achieve all of these things so bad and we really, really want to get out of the debt so bad that <clears throat> even if we are burnt out, we continuously and consistently con keep pushing for uh, what we need to push and all our departmental action. And in terms of brand, you know, it's like you burn, burn, burn already, right? And then to the point where you suddenly cannot burn anymore. <laughs> you're burnt out and then you're continuously burning. <clears throat> you achieve the peak. So you're brunt. You, you achieve that brunt where you can't go past anymore. There's nothing left for you to burn. So you become very brunt. And this also happened. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but uh, I'll read it out for you guys. So dear Hong Gao, it is with a heavy heart to address this email to you. It is unavoidable for me to not take this step. Hence, I have to step down from this current position and ultimately discontinue my Isaac journey. Uh, this is not I write one. Uh. Okay, this is not my email. Okay, just a just a, a disclaimer. This is not my email. <laughs> this is an email from a fellow EB. And uh, she, uh, yeah, it's a she. I mean, there's only one boy in my, uh, two boys aside Hong Gao in my EB team. So it's a she. Um, she sent this email somewhere in beginning of August to tell us that she has to resign. Uh, I didn't screenshot the rest of the email, but basically her, she resigned due to mental health uh, reasons. And it caught us all by a big surprise. Like we did not expect this to happen because we assumed, yeah, once again, I use the word assume. We assume that all of us are, you know, very much aware about what's happening and we're all very much relevant and um, responsible and accountable towards our own job scope. So we didn't really notice the fact that, you know, we have a friend or our fellow EB or fellow vice president is actually very much burned out to the point where it is affecting her mental health. And at the end of the day, she has to step down from the role. So, why is we? So, yeah. We are all actually too focused on our departmental gains because I think once again, we want to get out of the depth and we want to achieve everything that I wrote here. So we focus too much on our personal departmental gain. Like I, I think coming from myself as the LCVP IGDA, I was working very hard for more uh, opens. I was very working very hard for more realized, more approved to the point where I kind of neglected playing my role to be part of a team part of the EB team with my uh, fellow vice presidents. I, it's the same for the rest. We're all too focused with our own department, our own departmental gains, our, the things that we want to run to the point where at the end of the day, um, we were too immersive in our vice president uh, experience and we neglected the role of LCEB as a team. Okay, I think you can start to see a slight difference now between the role of a vice president and the role of an LCEB. So um, as a vice president, you lead your own department. You are a team leader. You are a departmental leader. But as an LCEB, you function as a team. Okay, maybe it's not that clear to you guys. It's okay. Let me just move on. And then maybe you guys can also see better like what is the difference of LCVP and LCEB. I'm going to show you guys a slide over here. Okay. I extracted these from my, uh, what's this called? Uh, LCEB application, the latest LCEB application. Um, and you, if you guys have started, if your LC has started your LCEB uh, journey, your LCEB uh, application journey, right? You'll probably see this here. Uh, you, you'll find it quite similar. Actually, it's the same because the commitments and also the responsibility mm -hmm. is the same for every LCEB in Isaac in Malaysia. Lah. But at the same time, okay, these are all the responsibility for the local committee executive board. These are not the functional job description. These are the role and responsibility of the LCB. Uh, if okay, I'm just gonna give you a tip. Uh, if someone asks you what's the difference between LCBP and LCEB, your answers are all here. But for today, I'm just going to briefly explain and bring you guys through. You have roles and responsibilities, you have commitments, and then you need to be present, you have attendance and participation, yada yada yada. If you want to know more, feel free to go through your own LC, LCEB application. And then I'll just show you guys this as well. Okay, this, I think is also the same in every LC. Uh, I extracted this from my own LC compendium. What's compendium is basically a, a book of rules and regulation that every Isaac LC has to go through. Uh. So these are the rights and responsibility of every single LCEB. Uh, putting LCVP aside first, of every single LCEB in 
uh, the said LC or the said SU. You have to manage and coordinate LC activities, inform all members about activities, review, reinforce implementation of compendium, transition period, um, represent LC, represent LC again, and then yeah, getting uh, getting approval to get proxy, yada yada yada. So I think just to summarize, right, all of this here. Uh, actually, if you go back to this slide, uh, commitments over here. You can take a look at all of these things. It's actually a summary of the, the this slide. And at the end of the day, we can summarize it, up, summarize it up into four things. External representation, legal and governance, team management, and strategy and operations. These four things are the main key responsibility that you need to do as an LCEB, not, not for your department, but for your entire LC. When it comes to department, uh, I think I can share with you guys this. Basically, I, I find that it should be the same. Lah. Wait, ah, let me show you guys this link. Okay, I have this link over here uh, that you guys can go through. Uh, I think it's the same for every LC. So you have feel free to go through. These are the roles and responsibility of the vice president, the functional roles and responsibility of the vice president. And all of these things that I wrote out here is actually the roles and responsibility of the LCEB towards the entire LC. So in other words, these are not just what you need to do for your department anymore, but rather what you need to do for your entire LC. Okay, um, let me ask you guys a question. Anyone don't know what is a Venn diagram? You all know what's a Venn diagram, right? <laughs> um, Venn diagram, like, okay, if you, if you know, if you know what's a Venn diagram, you can quack, you can quack in the chat box. Uh, quack is a wave, either in your version of wave. Yeah, but if you know what's a Venn diagram, oh, thank you, Injun, why do you want to quack for me? Somehow mathematical things. Okay, thank you, Young. <laughs> Anyone else want to share? What, what's a Venn diagram? Like, y'all know, right? I mean, if you don't know, I have to explain. And if my math is not exactly the best. <laughs> Correlation. Okay, thank you. Sets. Thank you, Intern. Yeah, thank you, uh, Okay, I, why, why I seem to be talking to just two people? It's sad, eh? Okay, but anyway, yeah. So, this is a Venn diagram. <laughs> this Venn diagram uh, consists of two circles. I mean, there are... Someone is unmuted. But anyway, I think there are more complicated uh, Venn diagrams that I didn't put out here. This is a very simple one. And it actually represents the executive board and the VP. Anyone, you can, you know, can you just annotate, you can annotate right on the screen and then you can maybe tell me which one do you think refers to EB and which circle do you think refers to VP? Which is a EB circle and which is a VP circle? You can just draw, draw, draw on this thing. Yeah. You can annotate, right, I think. LCVP is a subset for LCVP. Wow, you are very... <laughs> wow, thank you, Yiham. Yes, correct. LCVP is a subset. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you very much. Yay. Yay, thank you, Vara. This one is your ears. Yeah, I, I cannot see your full name, but thank you so much. Yeah, smart, leh. <laughs> like, just say you are smart. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. How do I clear? <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm very bad at this. Let me just, okay, thank you. Yeah, so basically, um, you're correct. The slide, hello, slide. Okay, yeah. This is the EB circle, the above, the big one, and the VP circle is the small one. So in other words, if you can... Remember back what I just shared just now? Maybe you want to briefly bring me through what do you think is the job description of a vice president? Y'all can draw or y'all can just type and put it inside this Venn diagram. Uh, let me see how much you understand based on my sharing just now. <laughs> you can just like draw or type in this VP circle or the EB circle. Yeah. I can play one song and then I give you guys some time to write. Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running There is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end you like to be here too It's Christmas and Outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Okay, 
okay. I don't know why, but you guys are a bit shy. Haha. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, I think just to summarize, since I, I don't see anyone trying to write other than you, and I think someone else wrote as well. Thank you so much. I didn't catch your name. Oh, very sad. Ah. Nobody responded. But anyway, um, yeah, basically for VP, it is more of a, I think, head of department role. That's correct. You lead your own function. You have your functional job description. Maybe for IGV, you, you have to manage project. Then for LY, you have to run your own events. And then for BD, you have to generate sales. And then whereas for EB, it's more of a, yeah, you summarized it quite well for me, LC Guardian. There's a lot of role under the word Guardian. So, and those are the things that I've just shared earlier on. Uh, I think you guys can get my slides later. Lah, so I will not go very deep into that. So basically, what's going to happen is, yes, correct. So EB is more of an organizational role and DP is more of a functional role. And I think moving on, right, I, I also want to share with you guys something, which is like, after getting to know all of these things, right? And then going back to my story, like, you know, being burned and brine and then like, you know, having people resigning. What was the, we have to identify, like, what is the root cause of the issue? So the issue is actually, we, as EB barbecue, we actually lack of a team mindset. If you notice and if you remember what are the things that I said we've done and we've uh, achieved in just six months, you realize that we can actually uh, function. We are actually like quite good in what we're doing functionally. So in a way, we are a team of stars, but we fail to function as a team, as a star team. You know, you always know about the star team and the team of stars concept. So in a way, we are a team of stars, but we, we fail to function as a star team. We all have our own uniqueness, but we forgot to put it together, like we, we forgot how to actually put it together to ensure that we, we can actually um, become a team, become a star team. So today, uh, if you go and Google, right, yeah, you can find out all of these things are like how to build a successful team, how to manage a successful team, steps to building a successful team, six ways of successful team, blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah, but because, yeah, these are all things that you can Google. So I'm not going to tell you the things that you can Google. And uh, if you notice all this title, if you copy and paste either one of it in Google, right, there's actually an article related to it. And if you get my slides later on, you can also click into that. Those are articles that I've read, uh, proven to be quite good <laughs> on how to build a team. Yeah, so I won't, I won't go much into that uh, because those are things that you can Google. But I'm going to share with you, like me personally, as a person, how did I play my strength um, as a team player, not just a team leader, but also as a team player for the UV team. What did I do? To actually resolve the problem. So first of all, of course, is to identify my strengths. My strength is I'm a very creative person, regardless whether it's functional things or people relation. Uh, I'm a very creative person. I have a lot of ideas to uh, connect people, to have fun. I'm a good coordinator and I'm good in connecting people. Oh, it's all C's. Yeah, so C's are always related to good things. Okay, yeah, creative. I'm a good coordinator. I'm also connecting people. Lah. Yeah, and then what did we do? We, as in uh, referring to EB Barbecue, so what are the things that we do as a team or personally, like uh, myself, like what did I do as well? Uh, we had a lot of midnight gossip spaces. Yeah, literally just one call and just drop a link in the EB group and then those that are awake will come in and gossip and talk shit about a lot of things that are happening in regardless of regarding Malaysia, regarding our university, regarding our work life or regarding our student life. Or we also have LCP tea time. LCP refers to my LCP, which is Hong Gao. Uh, because for your information, uh, can I share this? I can. Hong Gao has a girlfriend, but he didn't really tell people. <laughs> so uh, in a way, I spread the news for him and I made him talk about his girlfriend in every single LC meeting, uh, EB meeting. So in a way, we are all his like coach, relationship coach on how to go for dates. Yeah, because he has a lot of girls in his team and Ali, the other guy, um, yeah, my LCVP IGV, the guy over there, uh, I think his face is hidden. But he has a, he's a very good, he's a very ladies' man as well. So we gave Hong Gao a lot of ideas. We have like LCP tea time, like, okay, just to teach Hong Gao how to date. And then, of course, we also have a change in our synergy routine. Like, I think previously, we only had like, uh, synergy very unfrequently and it wasn't a very fixed thing in between the back offices so there was a lot of feedback spaces that happened and the synergy routine changed and it became more comprehensive for your information guys I think UM is not the best not exactly the best at utilizing uh, the back offices and we are still learning even until today as an LCP I'm still learning on how to better utilize the back offices so there's a lot of change in the synergy routine specifically for the back offices huh? and yeah we also have a lot of um, physical team meetings in a way that resulted in a peer pressure for a lot of people <laughs> because um, you know you have like towards winter everyone started coming back to university so in a way as the LCVP of IGTA I started taking the lead 
And um, I held the first ever physical team meeting after COVID happened uh, for my IGTA team. And then I posted it on my ICOM and it gave a lot of peer pressure to the other departments. And then they started, you know, organizing their own uh, physical team meets. Yeah, so in a way, it, all of this thing, the outcome um, of all of this thing, right? Maybe y'all can give me popcorn answer. Yeah, I've been talking non-stop for about 10 minutes already. So anyone want to guess like what happened after all of this thing? And type in the chat box. You all don't shy, I tell you all. <laughs> Okay, very quiet again. Never mind. Let me wait. Connect team. Yay. Thank you, Hong Yang. Yes, connect team. Correct, correct. You see, starts with C. Burn out. <laughs> Bara, thank you very much. <laughs> what? Wow. You heard. Wow, wow, wow. I think I'll tell Shichi. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Anything else want to guess? I need three people. Hong Yang, Bara, you heard. Okay, very quiet again. Ay, very sad. Uh. I think all three of you are from AGP, right? So sad, yeah. <laughs> the rest don't want to lie on me. Okay, it's okay. I will, I'm, I'm strong. I will go on. So basically, yes, the team experience is well taken care of. So there's no burnout, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we take care very well of one another's team experience. And uh, in a way, we, it's not just operations anymore. There's also a lot of team engagement that is happening. And uh, we're actually having fun with what we're doing. And we start to really, you know, get to know the concept of making friends through Isaac. And at the same time, we feel more comfortable to express. You know, we have a lot of gossip spaces. We have a lot of LCP tea time. So we feel more connected to each other as humans, as individuals, and not, oh, she's my LCVP together. Oh, she's the LCP, she's my colleague. No, we don't feel like that anymore. We feel like, oh, this person is real. You know, she go through same problems like me, or he feels pressure as well. It's not just me alone. So in a way, we are more comfortable to express to one another. And we begin to see the LC as a whole. Okay, uh, before I think, I think before I end, I just want to do a quick disclaimer, right? These things, right, they are actually my strengths, which is I'm, a, I'm, I'm very creative and I'm a good coordinator. And in a way, it's because of my strengths that resulted into this outcome and also the initiatives that I have. Um, I'm not saying that you cannot duplicate this thing, but rather I would want to point out also the fact that you need to really identify what are your strengths, your personal strengths as a person. Then only you will be able to uh, really figure out how to position yourself in the entire um, thing about being an LCEB and not just being an LCVP. So I think just to, before we end, before we go into Q&A, a quick one, which is what is your strength as a team player? I'm going to leave this for you because I think if you guys are applying to the EBs, you will see in the booklet, there's also a question that asks you, what is your strength? Uh, yeah, probably you can figure out an answer. And probably if I read your booklet, I would see an answer over there as well. And then just once again, I think the key message over here is that as an EB, as a VP, you are a team leader, but as an EV, you are a team member. You are part of a team, and this team consists of LCBP and LCP. Uh, I didn't put the LCP circle there, but the LCP is also part of the EB circle. So yeah, in a way, don't, don't ever forget that. Um, you, together with your LCP, the LCVP, LCP, SUP, SUEB, you guys are all part of the EB team. So please remember to take care of each other's experience. Yeah, it's very important, okay, because you guys are team members with one another. Even though you guys might think that your LCP or your SUP is a bit far-fetched from you, but remember that they are also part of the EB team. You guys are all team members together of this EB team. So take care of one another's experience. Um, be a good team member to one another, <laughs> regardless whether you're a P or a vice president. Yeah, I think that is it from my side. I think I can take some questions. Yeah, let me just send this link to everyone again. Uh, yeah. Um, can I, 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 is it this? Wait, uh, actually, I don't know how to go into Slido. Give me some time. Okay, yeah, in the meantime, you guys can... Uh, Ask me uh, any questions and drop your questions here if you have any at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need to go into the slide because I don't know how to go in. Okay. Oh, there's no question yet. Okay. Maybe I will wait. Or oh, you guys want to unmute yourself and ask questions also can. It can be about uh, the LCEB role, the LCBP role, or it can also be about things that, you know, you're curious about, uh, about my experience as LCBP. 
Uh, I think I just honestly to also to be frank with you guys, right? It's also because of the EB team experience that EB Barbecue gave me that I decided to take up the role as an LCP. Uh, I think it's also because of the team experience. That's one part. It's definitely because of the team experience. Why you apply for EB? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sharing it right now. Like why did I, or why oh, in the first place is it as a vice president? Um, I think I applied because I really liked the project. I really like IG. I was part of IGTA as a member. I really, really like IGTA in the first part. And at the same time, uh, I wanted to see how far I can go in Isaac because um, I was a member and I didn't really want the director role. And actually, honestly, I was thinking like as a member, should I just jump into LCBP because I've been a member for a year. And then, uh, but at the same time, I think I feel, I also have a lot of fears are like, if I go for LCEB, you know, like without director experience, can I really lead a team well? Even though I have team leading experience, but it's out of Isaac. So can I really lead a team well in Isaac context? Well, I think in a way, you on, you're only afraid because you don't know, right? So I gave myself a little bit of faith and a little bit of trust and I just went for it. Because I know I really want the role so I'll be able to do it. Yeah. How to really perform but avoid burning out at the same time. Wow, this question. Uh, is to really understand where's your limit, to be more self-aware and to reflect on every single day. You guys might think that reflecting and uh, thinking back on the entire day is something that's very tiring and redundant. But honestly speaking, it helps in the long run because you will be able to really understand like what are the things that um, you've done and how do you feel going through the things that you've gone through and how can you actually... Uh, work on the things that you have not managed to work on. Yeah. So my tip is to really reflect, to really have more self-awareness, understand where is your limit, have more self-awareness, reflect and seek for help. This seeking for help is very important. Help will only be available if you seek for help. How do you overcome your burnout while focusing on the studies? Oh, I think I answered the question already. Yeah, because I think in a way, perform is also referring to academics, right? Yeah, so uh, I answered the question. Have you think of quitting before? It would be a lie to say no. So yes, <laughs> it's a definitely a yes. I Many, many times when I burn out. Uh, but I think instead of asking whether I have thought of quitting, why did I stay? Yeah, why did I stay? Why did I choose to go on? And why, why will I go on in the future? I think that's the more important question. Uh, like, why did I choose to stay? Mm. Have you, did you have work-life balance in your EB role? If yes, how did you achieve your work-life balance? Uh, I think it's more of a work-life integration and really understanding what is your bottom line as a team leader and a team member, part of EB and part of DP. Uh, I, I answer all of this question, y'all really need to write down, okay? <laughs> because those are coming from the bottom of my heart, guys. Um, I don't, I would say I achieve a 100% work-life balance because in a way, depends on how you define work and how you define life. Like work, for me, it includes Isaac, includes academy, includes uh, my commitments towards my friends, my other club and society, my intern. So I would say I have a more of a work-life integration than a work-life balance. I know how to use the uh, spare time that I have, like maybe 10 to 15 minutes break to rest and to really pick up things that I really like to pick up. I like reading, I like journaling. So I would spend time, uh, I would make sure, and actually I will also make sure that I have time to work out, to exercise when I was a VP. I mean, as LCP, I'm, I'm, I also work out, but not as frequent as I was a VP. Yeah, but, but anyhow, yes. Okay. Do you really get to know yourself before you apply for EB? Oh, it's a very good question. For oh, LCP or LCEB? Okay. But yeah, I think I need some time to think. Um, I would say it's a process. Okay. Uh, let's assume that Xiaotian is at 100% right now. Probably if I look back at when I first wanted to apply for LCBP, I at, at this point, I would say I'm just a 50%. But at that point of time, I would say I'm also a 100%. So I don't think that's always a, that's a definite answer for this. Um, it's, I think it's a, it depends on the time and it depends on how well I know myself at that point of time. So probably in 2021, when Xiao Tian decided to submit her booklet for round four of LCEV application for Isaac and UF, I think that, okay, I know myself very well. I can do this shit. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold my shit together. I can survive this. Uh, maybe I can't survive. I'll just quit. Yeah, probably that was me at that point of time. And that was my 100%. But as I go down the lane, my 100% continuously to be redefined. Yeah.
LCP or LCEB. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, LCP is also part of LCEB. La. So if you were to ask me LCP or LCBP, of course I will tell you LCP. La. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, you only have like 11 LCPs in the entire Isaac in Malaysia. Uh, yeah. It's not that the LCBP experience wasn't good. It's really more on like, what is your preference? Like people, some people, they tell me that they prefer to be more specialized in whatever that they do. So probably the LCVP experience uh, suits them better. And some people probably think that, oh, as the P, I get to coach, I get to facilitate, I get to strategize. Um, those are the things I wish to do. Uh, yeah, that's me. So I prefer the LCP role over the LC. What's your mindset throughout the whole Isaac journey? I think it's accepting gratitude and to be more, uh, a, a lot of self-awareness, self-reflection and self-awareness. Why you guys ask me so deep question? Hiya. Um, I think for the whole Isaac journey, I'm not done with it. <laughs> so I can't really tell you the whole Isaac journey yet. But I think as of now, I think I want more. And it's something that I crave constantly. Yeah. What will you do if you found out that your director or manager is not performing and don't have competence in that function? You're referring to being an LCVP, right? Um, it depends on when I find out. <laughs> if I find out right from the start of my term that, hey, I choose this director up, but turns out that she's not really competent, right? And then I still have time uh, because it's the start of the peak and then I can still build, I will build up the function. I will build up his or her competency in this function. But if, let's say, I only find out in the third month and then probably I will start to rethink what, what have I done? <laughs> like, I will start to reflect on, like, what did I do um, to, to actually help? And I think to identify, like, why this person is not performing is very important. Uh, those, I, my answers might be a bit idealistic uh, because it really depends on the context and when you find out about this. But I will tell you that if, you know, as LCVP or LCB, you find out that your director or manager is not performing and you don't have time, you, I will advise that you take over <laughs> and you... Um, Start, your, start to build up more members that know what they're doing and have the competency to be the team leader. How can I know I'm ready for becoming EB? You never know until you submit the booklet. There's, I don't think there's a... Okay, 3, 2, 1, set, go, like rocket, you know, rocket ready to fly, 3, 2, 1, fly. No, there's nothing like this in the LCEB journey. Um, it's like you never know when you fall in love, like, okay? you never know when you're ready to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? So you will never know whether you're ready to become an EB or not until you start to become one. I will share with you guys a quote that I find it very true, which is uh, you will never become an LCP or an LCVP until you end your term because you only know how to really become one after you've become one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You asked me a good, quite deep question. Or is it because I think too much and then my answers are too lengthy? Yeah. Is there any other question? The best experience in LCGB. Uh, the first thought that actually came to my mind, I'm not sure whether you guys want the LCPP one or the LCP one, but if I were in 2021, I would say it's my LCPC quarter three uh, because that was the first ever um, and the only LC, LC visit that we had quarter, uh, that we had physically uh, last year when I was an LCVP and it was a very heartwarming moment. Uh, we witnessed Hong Gao cry. I mean, this please don't let this video go out, okay? He's going to kill me. I'm going to see him tomorrow. He's going to kill me. But yeah, he cried. <laughs> and then like, um, yeah, it was quite surprising for all of us that we were like, oh my God, he's crying. <laughs> yeah, that was me when I was an LCVP. La. If it's the LCP, I think I always crave for the next uh, experience with my EB team because I feel like the best is yet to come. That's always the, 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 the latest experience will always be the best. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Finally, the questions stop coming. So sad. So sad. Can I have more questions? <laughs> okay. I think we can give another one minute. Lah. So if you guys have any other curious things to answer. Um, if you have questions that you are shy to ask you, right? Because you don't actually you won't be shy because it's anon, right? So yeah, let's give another one minute. I think to the person that say, how can I know I'm ready for becoming EB? Um, I sense a lot of fear in you. Uh, I just want to say that, you know, you're only afraid because you don't know what's out there. So, and you're fearing the unknown. So let's try not to fear the unknown. Then maybe, maybe you will find your way somewhere there. If it's something that you want, focus on the reasons why you want it instead of the reasons that are stopping you from it. Okay, uh, 8.43 already, so 
Is there any other question? I'm going to end on time. I, I heard from Lai Jun that the past two sessions went over time. <laughs> So am I going to end on time today? And I thought that I thought a lot. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, no more question. Very sad. Hi. Okay, okay, no more question. Eh, where's my okay? So I think if you guys have no more question, yeah, let me just end this with this again, taking care of each other's experience. And yeah, please drop your feedback form, feedback here. Because I like feedback, right? So I give you guys some time. If you guys are done, then you quack. Okay, it's quack. Quack in the chat box. You type quack, you know, before you leave. Okay. Ah, the numbers are dropping. Why is the number dropping? You're leaving without feedback. Okay, quack. And then you guys can leave. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, like June. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before that, as you guys are feeling, um, also this, uh, feel free to connect with Mila on my Telegram if you have, like, questions I feel, I feel so fancy. <laughs> Thank, say thanks to Lang Jun. Okay, Lang Jun Duan. Yeah, the Telegram. Feel, feel free to connect with me on my Telegram, my LinkedIn, on my IG. GXT Xiaotian. Uh, Xiaotian Gan or Xiaotian Gan. Yeah. Thank you. So, I think 8.45 already. La. I'm, oh, I'm so nice. I end on time. Okay. Then, um, that will be it for today. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And then, I look forward to your feedback. Bye-bye. And you can stop recording.